Sloan. Now it's time for our top five. And today we're doing top five drunks in the movies. Number five, Billy Bob Thornton in Bad Santa. There's nothing more drunk and crazy where you're sitting there at the bar drinking and then he gets taken out in the car and she's like, Happy Santa, Happy Santa, Happy Santa. And then later she's like, I have a thing for Santa. Yeah. I love that role. I mean, he's hilarious, but it's not because he's a drunk. I mean, it's, well, you know, it's not, I know he does drink. It's, you know, we have other people on our list where it's like, ha ha, he's a funny drunk. But this guy like is funny and a drunk, but he's not funny because he's a drunk. Right. Like he's just kind of a crazy Yeah, it carries character. over. Yeah, no, yeah, it's kind of like you. <laughs> exactly. That's why I identified so much with exactly. drunk Exactly, yeah. Stuff. You could be, his, with that beanie, you could be one of his elves. I know, in my beard. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Call me. Uh, <laughs> Billy Bob. Yeah. All right, number four is... <laughs> number four is the drunk guy from team america world police in the bar who gives that amazing speech about how there are three kinds of people in the world dicks pussies and assholes pussies pussies think everyone can get along and dicks dicks just want to fuck all the time without thinking it through and assholes and all the assholes want us to shit all over everything. It's one of my favorite scenes in all of the movies. But then the main character yeah. goes out into the, the uh, alley and like proceeds to vomit for what you think is an infinity. And just when you think it's as, as long as it can go, it keeps going. So great. So great. <laughs> Number three. Charles Bukowski. Or it's Mickey Rourke, the actor, but he's playing Charles Bukowski in Bar Fly, 1980. Nine, seven, somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere 80s, like late that. 80s. Yeah, mid to late 80s. Uh, crazy story about Charles Bukowski, the drunken poet, man. There's that great scene where Faye Dunaway beats him over the head with her purse, and she's got something hard in there, and, and it knocks him out, and he lays on the ground, <laughs> and he gets up, and he goes to the, uh, he goes to the mirror in the bathroom, and he looks at it, and he goes... Because he's always writing poems. He's like, sink, dripping, and empty bottle, euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Blood's everywhere, man. It's just like, there you go. I, I, I kind of, it. Laura, I kind of used to want to be like that when I was young. I was like, yeah, I want to live in a flop house and get shit faced and dive bars and, and live this Wait, crazy lifestyle. <laughs> Number two is Nicolas Cage in Leaving Las Vegas. Dark. And and that's that's why we put it in number two. Like he he in some way that character like sobers this whole list out in the sense that it's, it's a well really said. dark movie about a guy who wants to drink himself to death. Yeah, I mean the whole idea is suicide. This is what because his wife leaves him, he can't get his writing career going, and all this shit's going. On. It's actually based on a fucking true story, which is Whoa. worse. I didn't know and, that. And so this guy, yeah, this guy literally dr drinks himself to death, excuse me, and writes about it. And he finally gets to where he wants to be successfully as a writer and everything, and of course dies. <laughs> Shakespearean Happy fucking ending. tale. Uh, Are you desirable? Are you irresistible? Maybe if you drank bourbon with me, it would help. It's a pretty good pickup line. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, man, that's dark. I just want to it's be dark. around when you try that. I just yeah, yeah. Like, that's like, it's dark. Okay. I should try it in the in the cellar drawer. Yes. Hey, Liv, I'm coming to see you. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> <with your friends. laughs> the number one drunk character in movies of all time is Arthur. In Arthur. Arthur, he's such a cute drunk. Like it's kind of like. It's a the humor hilarious. based on the fact yeah. that he's an alcoholic, which is a little strange. Like, yeah. oh, 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 look how funny alcoholic, which you could do back in right. the what, early 80s or yeah. whatever the movie was. Early like. 80s, absolutely. Yeah. And he was a rich alcoholic, so he didn't have to worry about anything. Like, he had he a was, butler. He, yeah, he had a butler, he had a limo, he had all this shit going on. There's yeah, a great scene where he's in the restaurant. Yeah. And he's kind of like, he's coming out of a drunken phase, and this woman's talking, and he just yells in this really posh, Restaurant. Are you a hooker? Jesus, I forgot. Oh, I just thought I was doing great with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
It's a great fucking movie. I'm, I'm going to rewatch this movie. It is hugely yeah. popular, so that's why it's number one. Yeah, and there was Arthur too, by the way. I don't think it was as good. No. And, and Liza Minnelli was in it, right? She's yeah. a love interest. He has sex with Liza Minnelli. Well, you know, my uncle <laughs> got hit on by Liza Minnelli. What? My uncle Jack got hit on by Liza Minnelli. <laughs> is this the monk? No, this is my uncle Jack with a big beard. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I've never met him. He's a painter. He would have done a really good job in your house. Mm. <laughs> Your drunken uncle got hit on by Liza Minnelli. Yeah. I mean, I come from a long line of drunken uncles. Think about that. It makes come, perfect sense. It's drunk We we both come from a long line of drunken uncles. 